Alright guys, so this is a quick tutorial on how to set up a dual ESC mixing on your Futaba 7 PXR. Um, took me a little bit to find some information on this, so I just figured I would make a video to show you how it's done. If you're unfamiliar on why you would do dual uh, ESC or speed control mixing, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe to the video. Um, I do plan on hitting that process a little bit further down the road. But anyways, we are gonna start by going to menu. And then we're gonna go to mixing menu, dual ESC. We're gonna turn on mixing. And this is asking you what channel, meaning what channel on your receiver. Um, standard is going to be throttle is going to be two and we're also going to do channel three okay so that's done you'll notice sorry you'll notice at your front screen you've got four-wheel drive indicated there um, and right now you see how you hit buttons it doesn't doesn't do anything so um, Everyone has their preference, so grab your radio and figure out which button you think is gonna work best. I'm gonna do my front dig, four wheel drive, rear dig. I'm gonna do, see if I'm driving, I'm gonna do it right here, cause that's comfortable for me. So we're gonna go to user menu, and then we're going to go to, all the way over to dial, trim dial select. So this is a DT1. We're gonna select DT1. And we're gonna scroll over. And then we're gonna go dual ESC. Okay, we're gonna leave that like it is. Now we also wanna be able to ramp, uh, decrease the rear motor speed. And uh, that's pretty common. Some guys also do the front. I just caution you when you do that. But again, pick which dial is gonna be. Uh, most comfortable if you decide that later down the road it's not comfortable it's an easy switch but anyways I'm gonna do this DT2 we're gonna follow back through dual ESC ratio right now step two is two increments at a time we're gonna increase that all the way to 10 okay we're gonna go back to our home screen you'll notice now we've got four-wheel drive selected so if I click front, it immediately tells me it's gonna be my front motor, back one, four wheel drive, back again, rear motor only. Now we're gonna take it a step further. Say we're in four wheel drive, we're climbing. So you'll see we have 100% progression right here. Now if we turn this down, it's going to turn down the rear motor, see R70. You'll have to make sure you plug in your speed controls. Your rear motor is gonna go into channel two and your front's in three. You'll see how we're trimming it down. Now we have no power to the rear motor, 100% front. And then we're gonna increase it back up. And now you also notice this current button, if you go forward, you can turn your front motor down. Don't recommend doing that. Um, unless you're really familiar, just know that they, I need to turn my rear motor down and I'm clicking backwards. But that's it, down and dirty, super easy. Hopefully it helps you out.